Sports. And tonight we have live team coverage for you of this Thanksgiving travel rush. Vera Jimenez will have the Thanksgiving forecast, but we're going to start off with KTLA's Mary Beth McDade live at LAX MB. Hi, you guys. Yes, you know, I know many people have been hoping and wishing for pre-pandemic pre conditions. And guess what? When it comes to holiday travel, you got your wish. Of course, that means some very busy freeways and some very busy airports. Now, there was a sort of a very big morning rush and kind of a midday lull here at LEX, which is pretty normal. And as you can see behind me here, well, the big rush is on again tonight for all those people that are taking those red eye flights and the international flights and LDX officials anticipate that it is going to stay this way until at least midnight. Two and a half hours before our flight departs, we're going to get to the airport. This man and his family learned an important lesson the hard way last Thanksgiving about leaving yourself plenty of time to get to LAX when flying on one of the busiest travel days of the year. We missed our Hawaii flight last time oh. by like 15 minutes. We were running, literally running, got to the gate and they said you can't check in. But this year the family all smiles as they head to see family in Virginia. Wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and you as well. Leaving themselves extra time was a great idea, says airport officials, especially with LEX expected to be the busiest it's been since the start of the pandemic. Today is going to be one of the busiest. We have over 205,000 people expected to transit through LAX today. But the Sunday after the holiday is really going to be the peak for us with 215,000 people. That will probably be the single busiest day that we've had since the start of 2020. Nationwide, some 54 million people are expected to travel by air and by car during the holiday travel period. AAA says here in Southern California, we're expected to break records with 4.9 million traveling of those 3.9 will be hitting the roads. It's cheaper to put pack the kids in the car and with their toys and coloring books than it is to, you know, purchase airline tickets for everybody. But despite the high airline ticket prices, plenty of people are still packing planes this Thanksgiving. Just ask this Michigan mom who's in the process of taking several flights to go see her son in Australia. It was very busy on the plane. All the planes that I've been on have been absolutely full. Yeah. All right. Just some uh, words of warning here. Now, if you're planning to come here to LAX and park in the economy lot tonight or the next few days, well, don't because it's full. Instead, you're going to need to make some alternate parking plans, such as find an off-site location or park in one of these uh, terminal garages here or get a ride. Anyhow, we want to wish safe travels to all and a happy Thanksgiving. For now, that's going to do it for us here at LEX. Mary Beth McDade, send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.